502 Insights, where we talk about a little bit of everything. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make paper flowers. To make the flowers, you're going to need scissors, a pen or pencil, glue, and some type of sturdy paper. I've got poster board, but you could also use cardstock. Okay, first we're going to cut out our pattern. You're going to take a piece of your paper and cut out a raindrop shape. Next, you're going to get your paper, and you can use any color paper that you want. I'm using white poster board that's been decorated with colored bubbles. You're going to take your pattern, lay it on there, and trace as many as you can fit onto your paper. Okay, here's my poster board with all the patterns traced onto it. Now, in some of this voided space, like here, I'm going to make a circle to be the middle of the flowers. So, instead of wasting paper, we're going to go ahead and make a few circles so we'll have those on hand to use later. Now, you're going to need to cut everything out. Okay, here's my cutout shapes. I have the petals in the center and just for a hint when you cut these out make sure you're cutting all the way to where your pen mark or pencil mark does not show in your petals. Okay next you're going to take one of your petal patterns and your pen or pencil. You're going to put them together like this and you're going to roll the paper around the pen and just keep rolling up. And you're going to pull that out, straighten this out a little bit, and it's going to have a curve to the petal. Continue with rolling each petal. Okay, if your petals are too curved, you can always bend them back a little bit. Straighten them out just a little bit so it's our curved but not folded all the way over. Next, we're gonna take our petals and we're going to take our glue and we're gonna sit them together like so. Go all the way around in a circle, gluing each section together. Okay, so we're gonna take our glue and start gluing our petals together. We're gonna to add glue to each corner. Add more on top. And just keep going around with a dab of glue in the middle and another petal added going around to create a circle. Once you've completed one layer, you'll want to start on a second layer. So we'll add a little bit more glue and start adding more petals. You don't want your petals to completely line up, so you're going to put your second layer in the middle of your first two petals on the bottom layer. The more petals you add, the fuller your flower will be. So I'm going to go ahead and add another layer so I will have three layers of petals on this flower. So here's my flower with the three different layers. And now I'm going to go ahead and take one of the circles and glue that to the middle. Okay, now we have completed our flower. We just need to let it dry. You may want to take something and set that down as a weight in the middle to keep all the petals tight while it's drying. 